In this lesson, we'll show you how to solve an equation involving two variables, how to create a table of values, and what patterns emerge when we analyze our table of values. We'll begin with an example. We'll find a solution to our two variable equation x plus y equals 6. To solve an equation with two variables, we must come up with an x or y value from your head. x equals 0 is a good place to start. We'll substitute this value in for x and then figure out what y would need to be. Since x is 0, y would just have to be 6. This gives us a solution to our two variable equation. The difference with a two variable equation is we could come up with other solutions as well. We could have chosen x equals 1. Substituted in 1 for x, y would need to be 5. So we have a completely separate solution that is equally as valid. We could substitute in 2 for x and solve for y. y would need to be 4. And there's a third solution. We could try x equals 3, substitute it in, solve for y, and we have a fourth solution. We could come up with as many solutions as we wanted. We need a way to organize all these solutions, and this is where a table of values comes in. We can put all of our x values, 0, 1, 2, 3, in the x column, and all of our answers for y in the Y column. This allows us an opportunity to see patterns in our solution. Patterns for X and patterns for Y. We can see that X goes up by ones, a pattern that we chose for X by the way, and at the same time Y goes down by one. Although we cannot list every possible answer for X and Y for an equation, we can describe the relation that exists between x and y. As x increases by 1, y decreases by 1. Let's do another example. This time we'll make the table of values, then state the relation between x and y. We'll draw our two columns for x and y. 0 is a good number to start with for x. We substitute that into our equation. So y equals 3 times 0 minus 1, which is minus 1. We'll plug in 1 for x, substitute it into our equation, y equals 2. Substitute in 2 for x, put it into our equation, y equals 5. Now we can look at our table of values and find the relation between x and y. As x goes up by 1's, y goes up by 3's. In this example, we'll work backwards. We'll start with a table of values, state the relation between x and y, find the missing values, k and j, and then attempt to find the original equation. Stating the relation between x and y, x goes up by 2's and y goes up by 1's. For the missing values, for x we're going up by 2's, if we increase 4 by 2, we know that k must be 6. y is going up by 1's. If this pattern continues, we know that j must be 5. Let's attempt to find the equation for x and y. x is going up twice as fast as y. So we could start with a guess of x equals 2 times y. We could check to see if our answer is correct by plugging in 0 for x and 1 for y because we know that has to be one solution. We would get 0 equals 2. That's not correct. So there must be some constant c added to the end that will make these two sides of the equation equal. Let's substitute in our value for x and y again since we know this has to make the equation true. Let's solve for c. We would get c equals negative 2. So our equation 
would become x equals 2y minus 2. Now let's check to see if this works. We can substitute in our y value of 2. We get 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 2 would have to equal 2 for x. Let's try one more point. We'll substitute 3 in for y. 2 times 3 is 6. Minus 2 is 4 for x, which is correct. This is the original equation that produced this table of values.